Alright, so I gotta talk about GTA Online today. So, I have a big problem with this game. First of all, I don't understand why there's so many people playing this piece of crap garbage. Like, let me get this off my chest. This game, GTA Online, not 5, GTA Online, is nothing but a job after your real life job. Look, think about it. What do you do in GTA Online? You do jobs to get money. You get money to buy the cars to buy the penthouses, to buy the apartments, to buy the houses, to buy all the good stuff. But let me ask you a question. Don't you do that in real life also? Don't we work eight hours or more many times to get that paycheck, to be able to buy a car, to be able to pay the mortgage, to be able to go on a vacation? So why the hell do we come back from our day shift, our day job, to do it all over again in GTA Online? How do you guys enjoy that? I, I, I played a little bit of GTA Online. And man, I would never do any of these jobs. The only reason I have so many hours logged on to it is because I paid a hacker 10 bucks to give me 300 million, 300 million GTA cash and it would boost my level to 300. And I got some friends who play it. That's why we logged in hours into it. But I, ne I would never, never would I do these repetitive jobs, these grindy as hell objectives just to boost up to get like what two three thousand dollars per job so you can keep on grinding yet get that car you want or to buy that a uh, building so you can start those heists like what is this it's like anytime they release any new content in gta online you got to be a multi-millionaire just to be able to access that content how is this accessible to anybody unless you're a no-lifer who plays this how do you enjoy playing this, this this menial doing menial task? I do this in real life. I don't want to do this online when I come back home. I want to play a game where I'm actually having fun, where I'm immersed in the world. GTA Online does not do that, man. I don't know why people are buying shark cards. Why this game is constantly what eight years after after release is still a top seller. Why are people still buying this game? You either buy it once or that's it. Why is it constantly selling? See, this is GTA Online is the reason why Rockstar doesn't make games as much anymore, man. Back in the what PS2, Xbox, uh, original Xbox days, we got GTA 3, GTA Y City, GTA San Andreas, bam, bam, bam. Right after another, great games, great single single player stories. But now, like, when was the last time we got a GTA game? In 2013, it's been eight years, people. GTA 4. Came out in 2008, fine. It was another generation after San Andreas, four years. Okay, but at least they gave GTA 4 single player content, right? Two expansions. In the eight years GTA 5 has been out, they don't even release single player content. What's the problem with this? Why can't we have single player content? I guess, I know you want to do your online, but why can't we have single player content for people who just come back from home and don't want to grind? We just want to play a good single player game. We don't want to grind for money, cash, and repeat our daytime job again come on people what, what is Rockstar thinking they're doing the same thing with Red Dead 2 with Red Dead Online Red Dead the first Red Dead got single player campaign Red Dead Undead Nightmare that was good why can't we get this I mean okay if you want to give us online fine give us but can you also give us single player content please something I'd appreciate another story in the Los Santos area would be nice I don't know something you can be in the eight years. You can have made two, three, four, five expansion packs, single player expansion packs. Those would have sold very well. I don't know what the problem is, man. I don't want to do this grindy, repetitive crap. This is terrible. I don't know why you guys keep on buying these shark cars and do it. You know, it tells Rockstar, hey, I can just be lazy and get money from GTA Online. I don't need to make actual new games. I don't know why you people do this. This game is terrible. It sucks. And not only that. It takes sometimes it takes 30 to 40 minutes to just load into this game because the servers are terrible. Then you get kicked off the servers. You get kicked out of the servers. Then you're just messing with the servers rather than actually even playing the grindy gameplay in the first place. It's just terrible. It's actually worse than real life, man. At least in real life, you don't get kicked out of a server or or you lag or whatever it is, man. Or get I don't know, man. I don't know why. What do you call it? I looked up on Steam, right? I looked up on Steam concurrent players at 12 a.m. at night a hundred thousand people were playing this game like unless you got hired a hacker and you got like a dedicated to a group of friends that play it consistently I can't see anybody playing this like if you're a solo player which I am most of the time I would not play GTA online I got better things to do with my time I'd rather go learn something than play GTA online man I don't want to play GTA online man screw that forget about it man